What's up everybody? Welcome to the Ronnie Lee Show. This is my new internet show on Ustream, giving you a chance to interact with us directly on the show. Today, I got Carlos Lopez Jr. from Operation Repo, and it's like a real reunion. We got the living dead, man, boss lady, Sonia Pizarro coming out, man. Y'all don't want to miss it. Also, I want to introduce my co-host, man, Austin Lizarraga. Come on out, say what's up to the people. What's going on, guys? What's going on, man? Looking fly, yeah, man. Nice video. suit. That's like shop that. right there, yo. That, man. So tell, nice a little, tell the people a little bit about yourself, man. Uh, nothing much, man. Just working a lot, trying to get shows going, doing me and loving life, man. Living in downtown and just doing what makes me happy. I see, I Thinking see, that. man. Tell the people where they can reach you on social media. Uh, Facebook, you can hit me up on uh, on just Austin Lizarraga, on Instagram, Lizarraga TV, and I don't do Twitter. I can't do you know, Twitter. You know Twitter? I can't okay. do that Twitter stuff. I can't do that. Okay. Well, that's about it as far as how you can reach me and just more projects coming up with Ronnie, King Lion Entertainment. Yeah, King Lion Entertainment, man. You heard Make what you said. Make sure you follow that, too. King Lion Entertainment on Instagram. Um, and then underscore Ronnie... Lee underscore, correct? Yes, sir. That's yes, about sir. it, man. That's what's up, man. Well, I appreciate it. You'll be man. with us? Yeah, no yes, problem. Sir. Austin will be with us all show, man. So, I just want to personally thank y'all for all the support from Operation Repo. Um, it's been tons of fans, man, that come and stop me in the street. And everywhere we go, they say, what's up? I really appreciate you guys watching the show. And uh, it's actually leading to bigger and better things, man. I'm trying to step my game up, man, get on that level. You know what I'm saying? So I really want to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart for all the support. Continue to support King Lion Entertainment. You know what I mean? We're going to take it to the next level. Now it's time to bring out our guest. Y'all all know the bad boy Repo, man. You know what I'm saying? You've seen him on Operation Repo, our Carly. He's currently going to be in the new Ninja Turtles movie. It's our boy, Carlos Lopez Jr. And now we're going to go to a little 30 second teaser of his new project, Celebrity Security. Yeah. Now it's time to bring out the, you know what I'm saying, Latino heartthrob, Carlos Lopez Jr. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, man? How you doing? Let me stand up. What's up with you, man? You. Appreciate you coming on the show. No problem, man. I'm glad to be here. No problem, man. So what's been going on with you, man? What you been up to? Uh, I actually went back into school for a little bit, man. You know, okay, and I went okay. to learn to like direct and produce, you know, okay. going to the Los Angeles Film School and uh, from there, it's just kind of opened different doors, you know. I guess after repo on cars, you know, uh, went to go get an education, you know. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta learn something, right? Up, man. You know, yeah. and stuff like that. But uh, you know, I was uh, kind of freelancing for a minute after repo, and uh, I did a couple shows. You know, I was like you said, teenage mutant, you know, teenage mutant ninja turtles. Yeah. And you know, I was just one of the foot soldier bad guys on yeah. nothing major, but you know, at least I got to meet Megan and all that kind of stuff. Ah, so, that's the most important, you know? right? You know, the funny thing was, man, she had like five mini me's with her. Oh yeah. Like. Four or five girls that looked exactly just like her. They okay, looked that's exactly five times like, the fun. Well, well yeah, one of them was actually, you know, like, I thought she was going a little bit level up. I didn't want to oh, say yeah. it, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Plus, she was doing the stunts, too, so it was kind of more hot, you know what I'm saying? I was like, damn, man, you a badass that will jump off of a car and all that? She's like, uh-huh. She was like probably five, too. So, yeah. yeah. So she was, little yeah. Mama. Yeah, okay. she, there was no shout out. I don't remember her name because they were so discreet on that set. Yeah, like you couldn't even talk to people what the what the movie was if they were like extras. You know, oh yeah. Like, yeah, you had to tell them something else, you know, okay. stuff like that. I was like, damn. So and you had to sign waivers and all the social media, and all that stuff, you know, right before you even got to wardrobe. So, damn. It, it wasn't Michael wasn't playing. He ah. wasn't playing. He was like, welcome here, soldier, sign with these contracts right yeah, now. Yeah, you know, yeah, I'm just yeah. Like, hey, yeah. All right, man. Thank you for your service. Hey, I also want to let you know, man. Your boy Carlos gave me the privilege, you know, what I'm saying, and being in one of his projects. 
celebrity security, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, they saw the clip, right? I mean, yeah. they saw Ron, Ronnie's still the muscle. He's, yeah. uh, he's, still, he's still part of all the new guys, and, uh, you know, we got uh, you know a lot of new cast members and stuff like that, but, you know, you and I are still staying on from yeah. Rico, but... Still, I appreciate you, man, giving hey. me the opportunity, man. I'm glad you called me in, man. Hey, you were there with that one time. We were on that long road trip back from doing Repo, yeah. and I was like, you know what, man? I'm thinking about making a reality show. Yeah, he did, guys. He, he sure did. did say that, too. And I was like, and you were like, man, like, man, you just tripping. I'm like, nah, celebrity security. Then you're like, I like it. And I'm yeah. like, oh, like, let's do it. And here we are, right? Cool, cool. And here we are. We've already got it done. We in post. So, yeah. I mean, uh. So, give them a little description. Like, what's the show about? It's a, uh, you know, reality based docudrama called Celebrity Security. And basically, myself and Ronnie with five other agents, uh, shout out to Mike, Tony, Lexi, Adam, Enzo from, uh, from the Jersey Shore. Um, you know, and we're just out there in Hollywood, you know, protecting uh, celebrities and, you know, what we had, uh, Valerie Stunning, that playmate, mm -hmm. you and I, we oh, took you her know out. I remember that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we took her out, you know, to her audition, then we took her all up and down Hollywood, you know, and she just was, you know, just kind of relaxing, doing her day. Oh. Um, then we had to go pick up those rich kids out there in the hills, remember? Yeah. And we drove around in the Ferraris, and Ronnie got a little... A little, a little, a little scared on that uh, Ferrari. I don't homeboy, none of that. Yeah, yeah homeboy <laughs> went fast and furious though. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he was like zero to sixty in two, two point five seconds and stuff like that. Yeah, and yeah. I, yeah. I could just hear you yelling over the mic, you know, like yo, yo, and then hey, you we know, pulled I'm out in front of the I like to be in control, man. You, you know, know the that? funny thing was <laughs> when, we, when we shot that, you know, people were coming up asking if we were the new Fast and the Furious movie. Are you serious? Yeah, they were coming up to the, you know, all the producers and stuff like they were laughing like, hey, they think you guys are the new. He had the skylines and all the stuff out okay. there. So yeah, he was hey my man Carlos did it big man I gotta give it up to him we had a real high end production that day man he's doing the big things man tell the people where they can find you on social media uh you can search carloslopezjr.com my my website will be out in about two or three weeks clopezjr.com and you'll be able to find you know upcoming events you'll see uh, teasers of celebrity security star myself and Mr Ronnie Lee you know we'll be there doing that and. Uh, uh, social media, just Carlos Alperico on Facebook and Instagram still, you know, if you search Carlos Lopez Jr., you know, you'll always find me. Um, my page is a block, but, you know, if I see your real page, I definitely will just accept you. That's yeah. what's up, yeah. man. That's what's up. So you gonna stick around? Oh, duh. I can stay around, yeah. We can hit, kick it and stuff like that. Where's the, where's the Henny at? Uh, <laughs> I know, this is the one of show. We, 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 we ain't got the Henny yet. Okay, you know, maybe the next show okay, when the budget grows a little bit. Okay, when the camera's <laughs> off. No, okay, I got you. I'm here. But yeah, man, so we're gonna go to our next guest, Carlos. Guys, so that was LA Street Customs, you know what I mean? 
a part of our new guest. You guys all knew her from the boss lady of Operation Repo, Sonia Pizarro. Give it up for her. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it. What's up, Sonia? What's up? Good seeing you again. So what's been going on? Besides me getting a lot of sleep that I don't need. <laughs> no, I'm actually working on some projects, other projects. Um, we're going to be showing too much stuff here. Okay. It is an internet show. It ain't go, you know? It's a pornographic station. Uh. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so I'm working on some projects. Um, okay. The video that you just saw right now is LA Street Customs. If you need okay. any work whatsoever okay. and customize, that's the place to go in North Hollywood, people. Okay, we're at North Hollywood. That's right. North Hollywood on Lancashire Boulevard. Lancashire Boulevard, yeah. guys. If you yeah. want the real deal, because he really actually does excellent work. That shop has been there for a long time. I mean, it's generation shop from, you know, father to now son. It's going to the next son. So, okay. you know what I'm saying? So, he's really, really down to earth. His name is Julian, by the way, if you guys want to, you know, hit him up at that shop. But definitely, he'll work with you. like carjacking to me. I'm just saying. He ain't carjacking. He looks amazing, but that shit look amazing. But it looks like stripping cars to me. Like, this how people can do this. Gone in 60 seconds. You yeah, know? well, did you see that vehicle out there, that Cadillac? Yeah, yeah so. Okay, well, that Cadillac's the one my brother has in his movie. Oh. Which is, you know, yeah, which got the Gatlin right. guns in the top and everything. But he actually restore that piece of junk that I called it when I first saw it because it was ugly. I go, mm-mm. And uh, you saw what it looked like, right? Yeah, Badass Cadillac. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, that's his work. He's been around in a lot of work. Uh, Matter of fact, just to let you know, uh -huh. his dad, when he had that shop there, he actually done up a couple of Dukes of Hazards cars. What? Yeah, okay. so that just tells you how long ago, I mean, so it's pretty good. Very excellent shop, good man. My dear friend, you know, and, uh, you know, I, we're working on some projects yeah. as far as this shop is concerned. But um, another project that I'm working on is with a uh, another individual. Her name is Linda. Okay. And that project is a docu-reality series. Okay. Uh, basically, right now, the working title is What About Me? Okay. You know, about four women who were on the top and had it going on and everything went to shit. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and wrong yeah. decisions and yeah, whatnot. Yeah. And obviously how they're coming up in the world now, okay. which is very beneficial to help women out there because there's women that are struggling and they don't know what direction to go to or they really don't have an example. Okay. You know, just to let you know, yeah, I am a, one of those women. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I said, though. But I was about to say, you, you were definitely uh, one of the, like, most popular characters on Operation Repo, like you definitely probably the most recognizable one. So I'm sure, you don't man. Work anymore, man. You don't need to get any more jobs. No, I'm man. just gonna get any more job raises, <laughs> dog. Yeah. You got paid more than me, dog. It's all good. I, I don't know what it's all good, man. Hey, but what I mean is that your fan base is pretty much the largest out of everybody. True, so I'm though. sure that uh, any show with you coming on, man, people gonna watch. I don't know, man. You know, my niece has a pretty big following number wise, but yeah, I do have a lot of followers. Nah, everywhere Vegas. Like Vegas. Well, Vegas. yeah, yeah. Me, and, me and Carlos about yes. Vegas, they ain't even asked about it. They be like, where's Sonia? Yeah, yeah. Everywhere we go, man, they be like, they'll say what's up to me. Oh, yeah, we like the show. Yeah, I like you on the show and everything, but uh, what's up with Sonia? Yeah. How is she? Do so, you think it's because I wear all black? Or could it be because I'm kind of goofy? I think it's because you probably just very interesting. Or because I'm a real bitch. <laughs> I think it's just because she's Sonia, man. You know, That's what I'm saying. Sonya. You just you, you unique. You know, people yeah. are interested in yeah, you. Yeah, I tell know? people that you know what you see on the show and and what you see in reality is the same old thing. You know, the only difference is that I was getting paid then, I ain't getting paid now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, but I'm not that wow. high up there where I, I will ignore people. I'm pretty much a people person, so I always, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? If I got to get under the car to help you, it don't, even, don't matter what I'm dressed like. I will go in there. I don't care. That's me. Yeah. You know, I don't, I've never played, you know, my head is too large, though. Oh, my gosh, I'm too good. Oh, man. Nah, you know? hey, it's all part of the game. You know what I mean? We had our ride. We had, we, y'all ride was longer than me and Carlos's. You know what I mean? We had our time in the sun, and it's just now time to go into bigger and better things, you hey. know, step it up. That's what I say, but man, I got off the, I've been on that train for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I still be. Hey, it's a you marathon. Still, <laughs> yeah. still a name. Hey, still hey, a name. Yeah. It's a marathon. It's not a sprint, yeah. you know? Yeah, so I'm just like, yeah, whatever. We'll hop on the next 
But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, what are we going to do, man? We're going to go back with Austin. Uh, the people have been showing their comments and asking questions about you guys. So we're going to go to Austin. Uh, who's the next question for? Uh, we have a question for all three of you guys. Whoa! Okay. 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 Right. Your guys' favorite repo moments. Whoa! Wow. Uh, do, we have, do we have to start from the ones that were recorded, or just go with? I guess ones? any, any moment. of them. Any favorite? Oh repo yeah, we've, we've, we've uh, had repos after that favorite repo moments that they uh, once didn't remember. Well, okay. Sony, what was your favorite repo? My moment? favorite repo moment, I would have to say, was when I was on repo and getting paid. Now I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was mine. <laughs> yeah. You win. Hey, you guys don't want reality. Yeah. You know, oh, we real, real. We real. You know, if you want me to make up some, I can't make up nothing. Or Maybe I can tell you that way you'll know how real sometimes situations are, is this, okay? Once I was on a repo uh, in Orange County, and uh, unfortunately for me, I didn't know who I was up against because obviously it's a show, you know, reenacted in reality, you know, at the time. And they put me up, some woman that was just as tall as you, Whoa. probably bigger than me, wow. put together, not five, four people. Five, seven, and eight heels. <laughs> she was big, okay? And yeah. I was doing this repo of this white scion, and it's the only time that I've ever felt, okay, that this woman was gonna like put me down in, 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 in a way where I was freaking scared because she was so heavy. She managed to get on top of me. Now, this, we were reenacting this mm -hmm. repo. So, come on, man, it's acting at the time, please. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, she wanted to put on a good show, and that woman got on me, and, for, and let me tell you, for one minute, I truly swore that she was gonna just like put me down. I couldn't get up, I couldn't breathe. Wow. And I kind of got scared, I go, oh no, 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 no. I gotta freaking put my 100% power and get this yeah. woman off me. So I rolled her over real quick and I grabbed her by the neck and then obviously, you know, I can take a lot of pain and everything, but if I feel like I'm choking to death, she was huge. Yeah. I mean, I put her around, I rolled her over somehow and then I grabbed her by the neck and then she was scared because then I am stronger than her. She yeah. may be big and she may be, tall but when it came to power she I had more skin huh? and I just held her like that and then you know like everybody was crying and yelling Prince is gonna hurt my mom oh, you know because her kid was there I was like oh my gosh okay we have to stop this repo we gotta stop over do not do that because if I feel threatened then I'm just gonna put a hundred percent I was scared but I was gonna say this woman's gonna freaking kill me here <laughs> you know but uh you know that happens I, I think that was one of my moments I really have to say that boy okay what about you Carlos um, I'm just gonna go with the season finale. Oh yeah. I mean, oh, because whatever you want to say, reenacted or what you want to, you know, whatever we want to say, yo, that airborne jump was real. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yo, because Big respect what, yeah, for yeah, doing because that, I, I mean, yeah, the chopper kept trying to drop me off in the wakes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm yelling, and Froy's yelling like, you can't drop him off in there, man. He's gonna go. He's gonna go into the water, and he's not gonna come up. Yeah. He's gonna get sucked in. But when we hit, when I hit the water, I remember when I swam. That's when I was telling you I heard the the but um. But, um, but, um, but, um, and I started swimming as fast as I could. Tell them what we saw in the water coming to. It was literally a dead sea lion as I'm swimming. You know, I'm you know just I turn and I look. And but not just dead, but what? The head was gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Beaten no. off. Head with beaten off. Yo, I became Jesus of Nazareth, man. I ran across that water, bro. I made it to that Coast Guard boat, and I was just like, thank you, thank you, yeah, thank, you. Man. thank you, thank you. But it was a it was a good time though. That was that was a, that was a really long day. Yeah, bro. I think we all and uh, you two got seasick, and that was probably the second favorite part of it because these two were hurling. I mean, crying. She yeah, was, to mention that. She was in like another dimension. Yeah, yeah. she was. No, like, that wasn't another dimension. Lucky for me, I only had a bag of chips and soda. Oh, I know. It was all. And over the let day. me tell you, I. I I wasn't seasick when I was on the little freaking raft that had a motor on it. I wasn't seasick going up and down. But somehow on this big boat, dude. I don't know what happened, man. We took too damn long being on that shit. But I'm going <laughs> to tell you that I couldn't hold it anymore. I tried to be a soldier, you know what I mean? Because I thought that, I thought seasickness was like a cliche. Like, you know what I mean? Something somebody made up. So I get on the no, bus. Hell, no. And I'm like, hold up, dog. Why are my knees buckling, dog? You know what I'm saying? We well, hadn't even got eight miles an hour, though, because they were really on this little tugboat. Yeah. And Ronnie's over there shaking his head. Yeah, like, I'm, trying to hold, I'm trying to soldier no. out. Like, and man, and the, waves, it, the waves are going like this high, you know? That's, they weren't, he was in jet boat. Hey man, well whatever, whatever it was, I, I thought I was a soldier, man. I just you did. You made it through man. it, though, hey, bro. Hey, hey, I thought I heard a voice say, "Hold it, hold it." Man, I tried. Yeah, See, nothing man. for me. It was just a bag of chips. They used to shot of that, right? Yeah. They, they, they shot of it. 
They used a shot of this guy like hurling over the side. Like, like made for good TV. And, no, but you yeah. have to know that Ronnie here, you know, he's a big guy. Mm -hmm. He, you know, he works out and he needs his, his, you know, his food. So he pretty much ate very, very. Yeah, I ate good that day. Yeah. Too. Like, oh my God, no, he's I, one of the he ain't good, but that thing was gone. Too. Everyone thinks I'm five two because of this yeah, guy. Yeah, right. We actually meet people like, yo, there's this guy that looks like you on Operation Repo, but he's much shorter. <laughs> I'm, just like, I'm like, oh God, man, are you serious? You, should, you know what you should have said? What? Shorter? In what way? Oh, uh, I thought we're not on porn here. <laughs> when you did it. you see it? Oh, my <laughs> hey, but I'm about to say personally, you know what I'm saying? My favorite moments is, you know. Anytime I had some you know, young, voluptuous, beautiful lady, you know, that needed assistance, you know what I mean? And, yeah. and if she got hands on, that was better. Your hands were full that day. Yeah, that, like that, that, yeah that we, day. we went to go repo a Mercedes and, you know, the lady just happened to just accidentally just drop her breasts in my hands, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know how it happened, but uh, it happened yeah. and I would say See, that was. Yeah, that, that would have to be my favorite repo moment, you know, anytime we would get some good flesh. You know, yeah. that Ronnie, come on, that's like saying, I accidentally was in L.A. Yeah, I yeah. accidentally yeah. came across this no, place, that's, I don't and know. you accidentally invited me here. All that, I know that, is that, I was no, trying to was help her. the swag he was trying to, like, explain yeah. to the girl. All you know I know, know I'm saying? helping like, her, and her breasts just fell in my hand. Yeah, I don't know. Honey, they just <laughs> fell in my hand, baby. I'm going to see you next Wednesday. So you're going to see, it was an unwanted physical contact that just was nice. Yeah, I heard that one before. Just okay, just okay, we're going to go back to Austin, man. Any more questions for the crash? One for Carlos. There is a scene where it was rather white glue or white paint was spilled on you? Oh, they're, yeah, they're talking about the one with Matt, right? Yeah, uh -huh. and our question is, what went through your head at that moment? Um, honestly, I was <laughs> felt that I was really that stupid to stand next to a dude who had paint all above me, you know? Um, I'm not sure if it was glue or, or what, mm -hmm. but uh, when he threw it when he threw it down, they actually didn't show it, but uh, they actually cut it out because uh, Matt was saying something, you know, you know, you know what direction Matt was going when he said what I look like, you know what I'm saying, you know what I look like. But I was actually trying to climb the damn thing to get up there and stuff, and they told me no because the thing started swinging a little bit. Wow. You know, so then when I came down, and then he threw the, I think he threw the whole thing down, and when I jumped down, it crushed the whole truck. And, man, I remember at that point, that's when I took him down, and that's when I put him in the, uh, like, triangle choke, so, yeah. We got one more question for Sonia. What's the next question? There's one question for Sonia. It was a few. It, this is an older, about probably four seasons ago, when uh, Matt was driving a repo truck and there was an accident. The car in the back went flying off. Oh, the BMW. Oh, yeah. right before we got on, uh, the BMW. Yeah. He said he had to go take a shit. Yeah. He was like, oh, I'm not gonna take a shit. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, I don't believe I was in that repo, but I do know extensively on that repo. And let me tell you. It was a very costly one. Yeah. It did cost a lot of money. Um, and uh, lesson learned that I don't care how much of a shit you got to take <laughs> shit on yourself. Yeah. But when you have some customer car seat, because eventually uh, it just wasn't properly put the way it should be. That's yeah. why that happened. And it was a costly mistake. Okay. So me personally, if you guys ever seen Friday, you know, you do what that guy did. He had to take a crap. You pull off whatever, get whatever you have to get oh, off to take a shit. Yeah. You know, I got to take a crap, okay? Because otherwise, you were basically messing around with somebody else's collateral. Yeah. And we had to pay for that one. You know, my brother did yeah. highly pay for that. Um, like I said, it was a costly mistake, but you know, shit happens. What's up, <laughs> What's up with Big Lou always with his signature pose coming in? You know, because I remember that episode. Yeah. He always makes yeah. a yeah. slide. He door gets open. a call that we've messed up. He flies in with the door open, skinny, yeah. and looking yeah. for the cameraman to get, you know, like, yeah, what's, like up? what's up? Yeah, what did you guys do? <laughs> Lou's here. You know, it's like, it's like, and everyone's just like, yo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, talk to Sonya because that's she'll yell back. That's she'll yell right. back. We'll that's just it. say we're sorry. That's yeah. a style, man. You yeah. know, you just, you know, you got your own style, dude, coming yeah. in, you know? Yeah. It's but, like you, everybody gets amazed when they go, oh my God, did you see that look Ronnie gave? Yeah. That was priceless. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. You got this look that it's just like, oh. Hey. You know, try to be photogenic. And that know. first recap will be will always be your first best recap ever for the chain sauce. Yeah. You know, I might have uh, screamed, maybe, maybe not. You know, like that. You know, yeah, like, it wasn't a scream, it was more like a yell. A grunt. You it know was what more I'm saying? Like, I'm excited to see such Yeah, it was such, just more yelling. Such you know, you know, know dynamic more blades, manly sharp, sharp blades coming at me with nothing to protect me but a mirror. Yeah. So <laughs> it was like, yeah. One yeah. of those kind of yells. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or, or it's one of those exciting moments, like for instance, if you ever saw the, the last new chainsaw, you know when the people are there all 
oh, she has a nice house. I can grow to like this. And as soon as they opened the door because they heard that chainsaw and they opened it up, who came out? Yeah. <laughs> that, that was gonna I, be yeah. I never came that close to a chainsaw, man. That wasn't my thing right there. See? But we got it done. My man Carlos was a straight G that episode. Got out, tried to wreck the dude. And oh, we got dude. through it, man. I was more, I think I was more uh, a fact of uh, how on my first day he damaged the equipment. Yeah. And I'm like, we're fired. It's it. It's yeah, it. Who's right? going yeah. like, oh, what happened to the truck? They cut the whole thing off. So I was just more mad, like, on my first day, I'm fired. You know, it's like, yeah, my yeah, first yeah. day, I'm fired, you know? Yeah. That's why I was so pissed. I was Stuck like, around, yeah. though. Yeah. Now, what right. do I tell you all the time? Stop trying to be super. It, was, uh, it wasn't that. I just thought I really had lost my job. I was like, shit. Uh, so, hey, I want to really, really, really thank you guys for coming in. This thank is our first right show, now. first broadcast, you know what I mean? Uh, we're going to have plenty more. Hopefully, you guys will come again. You know what I'm saying? That's right. You can ask all the questions you want. Yeah. No porn, no questions. If you want to ask me about my cooking, you can do so. Yep. Well, okay, so one more time before we leave, give the guys your social media. What's your Twitter, Instagram? Yeah, I'm on Twitter. Obviously, the Living Dead 99. Uh, okay, it's because I'm very like I'm very a zombie fanatic and horror fanatic. That's why I to chose that title. Okay. Um, then obviously I'm on Instagram, Frosonique at Yahoo.com. <laughs> you probably want to wonder why I say Frosonique because it's kind of a combination of my ex-husband Freud's name, my name, and Q U E on the last. So if you, everybody always asks me, how'd you get that email address? I go, that's how I got it. Half of my name, half of Freud's name, and you know I kept it. It ain't French. Everybody's like, is that French? Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> and uh, obviously my Facebook. I have a fan page and I have two personal pages. My personal pages are packed. So please like my fan page. There's a lot of, everybody is like on hold. Why? They hold. Just like. <laughs> okay, or if you don't like me, that's okay. <laughs> what about you, Carlos? Uh, just search uh, Carlos Lopez Jr. Uh, and uh, look for clopezjr.com. It's coming in a couple weeks. That's going to be my official website, clopezjr.com. You on Instagram, Twitter? Instagram, if you search Carlos Lopez Jr., it'll come up too. Okay, what about yeah. Twitter? Uh, Twitter, uh, it's Carlos Lopez Jr. Yeah, yeah. that's all. It's all okay, Carlos Lopez cool. Jr. I changed it all up. Isn't that ironic that I'm also Lopez by my husband's last name? Hey. Well, every Hispanic person in LA has <laughs> yeah. some Lopez yeah. attached to them. One, one way or another. You know we are not related. So we're not. <laughs> hey, guys, well, that's our show. You know, we want to bring our co host out, Austin Lizabaga. Yeah. 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 Woo, woo, woo. yeah, buddy. So, man, we're going to be broadcasting live every single Wednesday. Uh, make sure you uh, like us on Ustream. Make sure you go follow us on Instagram at King Lion Entertainment, baby. You know what I'm saying? We the new hot thing. I want to bring out my cameraman, Jay Rajuri. We got Antonio. Come on out. Come on out, Come man. On. People want to see you, man. Big J. Big Jason. Right. Come on, man. Come on over, man. What do people want to see you, man? Come on Yeah, man. <laughs> Come on out, man. Come on over here. Yeah. So we got Jay Rajuri on the camera. Yep. Jason, sound guy. Antonio, you know what I mean? Uh, all purpose, ladies. all purpose, you know, <laughs> all purpose, all heavy duty. And but I purpose. haven't seen any lunch yet. Yeah, we haven't seen no food yet, man. Yeah, yeah. where's Crab Surf? Oh, you can't yeah, see you right. 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 And also, like I said, as I call, come on closer. They can't see you, man. Yeah, sit right here. Sir. Yeah, man. And we got our co-host Austin Lizarraga. We're gonna catch you next week right here on UStream, baby. Yeah.